At this year's Cannes Film Festival, 48 films were presented from around the world. They were made by the most renowned directors and featured the biggest name stars in entertainment. But look what happened. A film called Jeremy, directed by an unknown and starring two actors no one has ever heard of, not only won a major award, but in fact was voted the most popular film of the entire festival by the general public. I have a balloon, a happy tune, long enough to last me all through the afternoon. I have the New York Times, 14 dimes, and explanations for the most profound nursery rhymes. That's Triple Van still with the lead. Two next and Favor City in a close second and third. As they come into the stretch, that's Triple Van and Tunic. That's Two Ripple Van and Tunic. Two Ripple Van and Tunic as they cross the wire. It's Triple Van. Does anyone else know you do this? Nope. It's a secret. Good. I wouldn't tell him if I were you. You know what else I do? What? Promise you won't laugh? I promise. Well, sometimes when I'm walking down the street, I see some guy ahead of me. You know, just any guy. Well, I want to race him. You know, just me and him. I create an imaginary finish line. I call the race in my head. I don't believe it. And they're off. The man in the blue suit has a two-length lead as they come out of the starting gate, and Jeremy Jones is a disappointing sick. On the outside, Jeremy makes his move. At 16 pole, that's Jones and the man in the blue suit, neck and neck. As they're coming down the home stretch, that's head and head. The man in the blue suit and Jeremy Jones. The man in the blue suit and Jeremy Jones. As they cross the wall. And it's Jeremy Jones. I have a blue Jeremy, a film with nothing going for it. But the people who love it. Afternoon.